Okay guys, welcome back to another video, and this time we're going to be doing something quite interesting for you guys. Uh, some of you in the comments have asked which vehicles that I use in my game. So this is the new fleet that I'll be using for the next bunch of videos this year, or until any new car mods get released. I've basically modern modernized everything, so you can see the latest Met Police fleet in my game right now. This is Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PC, and uh, I'll let you know how to get these vehicles for your own game so the links to the downloads of these vehicles will be in the description below in the video so we have um first of all we have our traffic and interceptor vehicles this is the um bike that i'll chase mopeds in and then on some of my vid videos i'll be doing vehicle pursuits and i prefer to use this bmw because it's equipped with a uh, very powerful engine ampr cameras and then with the two regular response cars you've got the um focus and the astra and they're just like general patrol cars they're nothing special they're just kind of what you'd use for average patrols, or like probably playing realistically but not doing anything specific. We've got our traffic vehicle, this is the uh, Mitsubishi Shogun. It's got uh, AMPR, it's a 4x4 as well, so it's quite handy on the motorways and when you're going off road. We have our station van, this is what we use to lock the crims up in the arrest manager script. So whenever I call people um, a call for um, prisoner transport, I always get the AI to go in this van, like people will pick them up in my videos. And then um, next to this vehicle, we have the parks response cars. It's basically one of the um, focus patrol cars I showed you earlier, but uh, it's got a little beacon on the top. I'll show you it right now. So it's a little, um, it's a very bright beacon. You can use as an extra spotlight. And we've got our um, armed response vehicles. These are the ARVs. That's the both um, BMW X5's latest versions of the vehicle. Um, I suppose it's a year old, but they still use the same car right now. And then we have our public order vans. This is the um, Mercedes-Benz Sprinter. We'll be using that in Riot videos and such. It's not ELS enabled right now, but it's good enough. I've kind of tweaked the config. So I've made sure that a lot of handling lines and everything are working. Just the game's running smoothly. Just had a bit of a fiddling game. And I also managed to get the extra vehicle slots working. If you're interested in putting extra vehicles in your game, I'd recommend you download um, the Albo's car pack. That's not car pack. It's a DLC pack down below and it helps you. You have to read the instructions or something but it'll tell you how to install extra vehicles. Some of the older mech cars I wouldn't use for the AI. AI don't use these, it's just me in my videos because I tweak them like make them custom and it's a bit patchy if you have different... I don't know, I don't like different liveries in the game like you know they got the jam sandwich and these ones, the other ones all yellow and blue. It just kind of looks odd when the AI respond to them so that's why I have everything consistent. But uh, I'll show you um, the kind of light setup that I'm using right now. This is ELS. It's also a mod. I'll pop the ELS mod down in the description so you guys can check it out. And um, my siren mod installed. Um, people want to know if I'm releasing the sirens at some point. I may do in the possible future, but I'm not sure just yet. I'll probably be holding on to them for a bit more because I want to make sure that when I release them, they're good for everyone's PCs. They don't sound patchy or funny on some PCs and others don't sound good. So I have to tweak to make sure that it's fair for everyone. Um, we've got one of the older IRVs. You might have seen these if you live in London or something a few years ago. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is that uh, I've managed to get them to have different noises using the um, Siren Mastery mod, which is quite good. I've also popped a link down below there. So this video basically is for some of my new viewers and you want to get GTA 5 mods in your game like this. I'm not going to tell you how to install them, but they have instruction guides, and if you follow them well, and use the links I've got in the description, everything should go smoothly. It's one of the older arm um, response cars. And we'll show you in the night, actually. We'll show you the ELS settings in the night. So I'm using no ENB right now. This isn't ENB at all. It's just the game as it is. So, as you can see, the lights are really nice. They light up the whole place. That's what they're supposed to do. They're freaking lights. But, um... Yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a tour around the station. I did it back in GTA 5, GTA 4, I think. And I thought I might as well do one today. We have a helicopter in-game as well, but I'm not going to show you that in this video. I'm just going to show you these cars that I have on the ground I use regularly. So I'm showing you, like, how they work. Got the alley lights on. I usually put these on when I've stopped, so that when I get back in the car, the siren doesn't go off. Uh, pop into one of the ARVs and take that for a joyride, so uh, swap inside here. But yeah, if you're curious, links in the description. Do not ask me if this works on console, I won't respond to you. It's pretty obvious this is PC only, and there's no way it'll work in console. So got the um, seatbelt chiming mod. Uh, if you watch a lot of footage of you and real BMWs, like, we take the seatbelts off, that annoying chiming noises on, and I've got to get it to a T, everything's realistic. 
So uh, I'm not going to be removing this mod, by the way. I'm keeping the seatbelt chimes in. If anyone notices, if you don't like it, don't watch it. But it's my personal preference. I like to keep everything immersive. I really like my BMWs. As you can tell, most of my videos are Beamers. But uh, as this car handles right now, it's a 4x4. It's really good. One of my favorite vehicles. But yeah, let me know what you like about my fleet and what you might like to see in some more videos. And if you have any questions about modding that isn't immediately obvious, then uh, pop a link down, pop a comment down below. Check the links in the description. And if you guys like it, I might do more of these. Might do more like tours of the station or equipment or anything, just random videos. So yeah, um, if you're new, don't forget to rate, share, comment, subscribe. I do patrols in these cars every week. Twice a week so far on the LSPDFR mod for GTA 5. A lot of American YouTubers, I'm one of the British ones that does this type of stuff, so yeah, subscribe. And check my channel out for more stuff. I will see you soon.